today I'll be showing you how to make a personalized YouTube channel icon just like the one you can see here. All you'll need is a video editing or a picture editing software. Here are two that I highly recommend. Adobe Fireworks. It's very good software, the only thing is it's quite expensive. Here's a 30 day free trial. I'll have the description I'll have the link in the description. Here's the second one I recommend. It's freeware, it's very good, it does the same stuff as fireworks. Uh just not as good, but it's very good. So, first thing you do is open your software. Here's fireworks. I'm using this because I still have the trial. So, first thing you do is press file. New. And then this is important. Make sure you have the width to 88 and the height to 88. And make sure it's in pixels, not in inches or centimeters. Then have the canvas to transparent. It's more helpful, I think. Because you can make it so that's like see through in the background. And you could use your thing for something else. Like, uh a video icon at the corner or something, watermark. Um, so first thing you do, just select it. Then what we're going to do is get a nice background in. Here are some of the assets here. Um, I kind of like you can. You don't need to use something like that. You can use um like this, and then press in here, and you can go into any gradients, or you can go into pattern. You can have all these patterns. A nice one here, I think, is uh, Meadow Bletch. It's quite nice. I've already made one with that, so I'm gonna try one of these. Yep. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I actually want to do a pattern, so I'll go to Meadow Bletch. And the first thing we're gonna do is add in our text. So what you want is have it on size 16 because that's a good size that will fit into it. Then um, I recommend that you get uh, some new fonts off thefont.com. I'll have a link in the description along with all the other ones. Here I've got Metal Lord so I'll use that one. I'll do it in red because that goes good with that. I'll have it in bold. So here we go. Alright, Casey Pod. Maybe since I'm the name is very short, I might move it up to a size bigger. There we go. And you just click on your selection tool, move it over. Then a handy thing is to have a subscribe logo, which I will have in the description as well. So I'll add one in there. So here's my folder that I have the subscribe logo in. So I click on it and drag it into Adobe Fireworks. And like I said, I'll have this in the description. Since this is still very small, probably due to the font, I will make it bigger and make the subscribe logo smaller. That's a bit too big. So I'll have it maybe twenty-two. What I could you could also do like Casey Pod's channel or something else. So I'll just adjust the size of that by dragging in. Subscribe. That's a very simple channel icon. So yeah, I'll zoom in on that to show you now. So yeah, that's it. Now I'll show you how to upload it onto your actual YouTube page. When you're signed in on your account, you go into Account. Then you click Change here where you have your picture. Now it will probably be on Always Use My Latest Upload. Click Upload an Image. Actually first I need to save it. So I'll go back into this and I'll press File, Save As. Save it into you, the folder you want and YouTube icon 2. And save it as ping because YouTube now accepts it so might as well. So, um, when you're back on your page just go to browse YouTube channel 2 and then 
Save changes. Uh, there's something wrong with my connection at the moment, so as you can see, it's just staying like that. So there we go. Just press save changes, and we're done. It will take a minute to uh, fully be uploaded, so just be patient, and yeah, it'll come up in its own time. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. And make sure to favorite, uh, subscribe, and leave a positive comment. So and give five stars. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other uh, problems and you want a video tutorial, I'll be happy to help. So yeah.